I've created this project using the React Native Expo. Uh, that's the basic project you get when you start uh, when you install the project from the Expo. We have app.js app .js file in here, and we will start working on this file currently. I know it's not a good approach, but we will start from this file. So to install the Expo library, we will be go we will go to the Expo documentation from here. Uh, this um, this documentation is for video player from the Expo library. Uh, we will install the Expo library library by running this command. We will go, we will go to Visual Studio Code terminal. Uh, then open new terminal. It will open the terminal for this project. Uh, here we will install type npm install expo dash av. It will take few minutes to install. Uh, we will wait for few minutes. Yeah, it's going to install. Then we have to import video from wait, video from dash av we will remove this line uh, then we have the documentation we will here's it here's a sample for the video we will copy this thing and paste it in here we have this URL I have I get this URL from the left side and we will put this URL here so I'm going to paste it I don't know why it didn't work in ok it's set the source is the video URL uh, we will provide whatever the video your video we want to play in this uh, source the rate is the thing at which the videos rate is basically a speed for this video to be played uh, volume volume is the volume sound of the video we have one is maximum volume is muted will play the video to be by default in mute the size mode is will set the video to be on the rectangle shape which means it's cover should play will automatically play the video whenever we run whenever this code will be run this looping will start uh, the video automatically when the video is finished okay we will save this file and if I go to command line and I type expo start to start the server for this project getting started now I will run this project on my iOS simulator it's open we have to wait for a few minutes yeah so the video is played Now what I have to do is I will make this video to be full size for this screen. In the next video I will add some more video player functionality in here which is by default from the OS and I will resize this video player view. Thank you.